So we are running through John's setup. John, thank you for having us. Oh, thank you. Thanks and for uh, me. I'm looking forward to this. So take us through the basis. Okay. Um, what we have here is um, a custom version of the, uh, the Bongo 6 string. Uh, the wood is, this particular one has an ash body. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and the cool thing that I've done with them o over the years is experiment with different neck dimensions. And the, uh, the one that uh, we have here is um, basically a five string neck with six strings on it. Wow. And uh, it seems to be the perfect uh, fit for me in my hands. The strings on the bass are uh, the cobalt strings. The uh, cobalt? Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, that's something that um, I've really have grown to appreciate um, over the years. Is, is it more the feel when you play or more um, the sound? It's a, couple yeah. of, it's a couple of things. The feel, is, is a lot better. Um, and it's also, um, it makes it more, it feel, makes it feel like more of like a classical instrument, okay. like, like a cello, okay. but in terms of like uh, string tension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what that enables me to do is raise the action on the bass a lot more hard than I would yeah. with, the, with the nickel wound. And I, I kind of noticed that the action is definitely yeah. not low. And Wow. What you get, I think, is a more full-bodied sound out front. But when you hear the audio coming through the front, you can tell that um, that the strings are breathing, mm. but yet um, it's it's manageable to play on the fretboard without it being too difficult. Okay, so as, as long as you warm it up. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess you need a certain amount of strength to to stay ease while playing this amount of yeah. notes. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're a bass player, you need strong hands. Anyhow, yeah. that's just the given. Yeah. Yeah. Do you play normal string space, uh, five or six strings, like at home, just uh, you know, while practicing? Um, exclusive. Yeah, I have uh, fives and fours at home, um, which are cool because there's a different sense of freedom. Yeah. When when you have a little bit more uh, wider spacing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Looking forward. And will these uh, appear on the market? Uh, is this um, a plan of yours? Yeah. Hopefully, uh, in the near future. We're going to put um, basically uh, what I have here, but it'll be um, a humbucker humbucker version, an right. HH. Um, and it'll be uh, slight improvements will be made. So it'll even be better than what this is okay. in terms of okay. uh, what, what I feel would make the instrument better. And it'll, right. be, uh, it'll be cool to see. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Really do hear that the strings can move. There's, yeah. there's no string buzz or anything. Right, yeah. it makes a big difference. Wow. Yeah. Right, right. And is this the, the only bass you're playing? Uh, I have a few other ones. Okay. Um, we'll break out, uh, I guess we'll, we'll do the, the main HH. Okay. Um, uh, another thing that I should point out is um, in terms of uh, the knobs here, mm -hmm. this is just. Um, a pickup selector. All right, so it's yeah. a notched. Uh, so basically, no. um, you have the uh, the standard uh, the standard position, mm -hmm. which is basically the sound of the bass. And then you have two clicks um, forward, mm -hmm. which change the polarity, fuller sounding. And wow. then you have two clicks to the right, which kind of open up the bridge area frequencies. Wow. So um, where I like it is one closer to the neck. So it's, it's like that. It's sound, I guess. And the, and just the volume. Yeah. Uh, this one sounds a little different. Did you change the neck profile, like the back of the neck, the contour of the neck, uh, um, compared to a normal bongo neck? Or it's different. It's different. Yeah, okay. 
I tend to like more um, more of a flat kind of feel, so that um, I find that it kind of anchors the thumb a little better. Yeah. 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 yeah right. This is um, the preferred combination. Okay. The so two HH. Yeah. There's something about it. I don't know. It just just settles in really nice. Um, is it a it, was it a complicated thing to sort out fr t uh, like uh, deeper frequencies in the band because uh, Jordan also plays of course left hand of a keyboard player is always scary deep you know it can't go way down or like the seven strings uh, of John's was there anything to pay attention to not to overlap or something or was it just easy go and and uh, um, well I think never I mean to... every I mean that's individualistic everyone kind of has everything dialed into what is comfortable to them. Okay. And then uh, as far as blending everything together, I mean, that's, that, that gets handled up front. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you have quite a few uh, tunings, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, depending what song, uh, the tunings range anywhere from a whole step below standard to a half step above standard. Oh, so F. Oh, yeah, wow. like okay. the, the first uh, bass I had was a half step up okay. across the neck. Wow. Um, and this, this one is standard, so. okay. but, but the other ones um, can go down as low as a whole step below standard. Okay. And for like the normal tuning, what would be a, a normal string gauge you use? Um, I, I work with the existing standard gauges. The 32, the high C is actually, I get uh, singles ah, right. so to supplement the cobalts with yeah. the five, okay. plus the single 32 makes a full six string set. Okay, so it's like a, a 45 to 130, I guess, would be considered as a normal. Yeah, uh, one to five, 185, 65, 45, okay. 32. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thanks a lot, John. Uh, you guys take it easy and uh, we will check out uh, the wreck. All right, thanks for having me. Awesome, thank take you care. very much. Thank you. So this is Jerry. He's taking care of uh, John's rig yep. and uh, everything that matters, basically, <laughs> on tour, right? Well, with a lot of poses to John, yeah. 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 Been <laughs> doing it for a long time with him. Yep. Oh, nice. So uh, why don't you take us uh, through the rig? All right, so um, the signal flow starts off. It comes into the, the Shure, mm -hmm. and then we run it through the tour supply selector because uh, I have multiple bases with pa different packs. I run oh. four packs two different frequencies. Oh, wow. So I have turning on and off to do and switching of wow. straps and packs and okay. during the show, depending on how many guitar changes I have. Yeah. Um, so then from there, it runs into a, just a DOD compressor foot pedal. Okay. Then it comes into the rack here and it goes into a Mesa grid slammer. From there, it goes into a, a, a basically a splitter, goes to the VOG. The other side of the splitter goes to another splitter which goes down to the amp, and I have a Neve DI in the back also. Okay. The Axe FX goes through the, the uh, send and return of the okay, amp, uh -huh. which we have mic'd. So there's the three oh, wow. outputs that I give my monitor guy front of house. They mix it how they feel okay. to make it okay. the best sound. And John, for monitors, John says, I need more of this, I need more of that guy, okay. I need more of this guy. Front of house, he does his yeah. own thing, how okay. he feels okay. that it's gonna and sound how, the best. How come you have two line signals, like the two different DIs? The Neve is a, is, is the carrying whole? the sound. Okay. Um, so is the amp. But the VOG, it kind of adds a fatness, roundness to the sound. All right. Okay. Um, he uses it on the records also. So uh, it's a it's a vital piece to his. Oh, wow. We call it the voice of God. <laughs> VOG. VOG. And uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a great little unit that, yeah, that we've come to love and and keep around. It's I I, the ra I think this is the third version, in three tours that, and that's the one thing that that's stays. A constant, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. And the pedals are? The pedals, we're, everything is not being used except oh. for the Mesa Grid Slammer. All right. Okay. So that's it. So we had a full rack of pedals as backups yep. in case this goes down. Okay. We've never had a problem. So we kind of did away with it yeah. and he wanted the Grid Slammer on the front end of it. 
so we use the grid slammer as a okay. as a main sound piece. It's it's not a heavy sound. Yeah. It's just giving a little grit, giving a little body to the yeah. A little more air, I guess. That's, that goes through all three? All three. Okay. Yeah, that's a front end piece also. So it goes from the, mm. the compressor pedal right into that. Right into that. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. All right. And this one is the backup, I guess? That's the backup. Okay. Yep. So they're, they're set identical. And uh, it, that one's just ready to go. I just have to basically switch two cables and yeah. we're up yeah. and running again. Great. Yeah. Great. It's simple and very effective. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, I mean, it does sound. But massive. for a bass yeah. player, you know, yeah. there's there's things going on. Yeah. But for usually a bass player, it's here's a DI. And, yeah, yeah, and exactly. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Here you exactly. go. Exactly. But we have some stuff going on, and he uses a lot of effects during mm. the show. So we have a Axe FX foot pedal out there that controls the Axe FX, and there's uh, certain songs that almost sounds like he's playing keyboard parts. Yeah. Yeah. And over the bass parts. So uh, there's that it swells um, as also reverbs and yeah. delays and other things, other distortion patches. Does he uh, swap between patches himself or yep. is it also yeah, he, No, he does it. it he does it's it not like John's. Okay, because so John told. Yeah, yeah John's done it's through MIDI. MIDI, yeah. So, and, and they can do it. Maddie can do it. Yeah. And John can do it. Okay. So they're all set up to do yeah. that. Yeah. For me, it's just straightforward. Okay. Okay. He hits First, the pedals. And do it himself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But Fantastic. Fun. You got it. Thank you. You got it. Thank Have you. a good day. Yeah, you too. You too. Thanks. Awesome. All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to check out all our other videos we shot today. We have drum coverage, keyboard, John Petrucci, and obviously you've seen this one. So uh, take it easy. Check out all the other videos and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.